Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on Windows 11 versus we cannot complete the updates and that it's going to be undoing the changes and you might be perhaps stuck in a boot loop or an infinite loading screen. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you're stuck in that phase, let's just assume you're unable to boot into Windows. So if you are able to boot into Windows, you can select the Start icon here, and then select the little Power icon on the right side. So if you are able to boot into Windows, you can right-click on the Start button and select the Shut Down or Sign Out, and then hold down the Shift key on your keyboard. So again, the Shift key, S-H-I-F-T, and then select Restart. It's going to say please wait, and if you're unable to boot in the Windows and you can get to the automatic repair utility here as well, you can do a hard power off three times in a row. So power cycle it three times by letting it turn on, and then press the power button to do a forced shut off. You can also use the Windows 11 installation media from like a DVD or USB, and then boot your computer from that to launch the troubleshooting utilities as well. So choose an option. We're going to select troubleshoot, reset your PC to see advanced options. Go ahead and open that up. So one option you do have is you could reset your PC. So let you choose to keep or remove your personal files, then reinstalls Windows. If you went ahead and selected that, you'd have the option to remove everything, which would do a clean install of Windows 11, or you could keep your files, which will remove apps and settings, but keeps your personal files. Now, be cautious with this, because even though it says it will keep your personal files, it's not guaranteed to and they might be saved in different areas that are not going to be saved once you actually reset and if you have a lot of programs they're going to all pretty much be cleared um, when you do this method so just be aware of that so it went back um, a less invasive option here would be to select advanced options here and you have different options that you could explore and I've made plenty of tutorials about different settings you can go in through here you, if you had a system image recovery disk you could select that here if you had a specific issue or error, you could maybe launch a command prompt and run a couple of commands. You could uninstall recent updates or feature updates as well. That's something I would definitely recommend taking a look at. If you want to access safe mode, you can select startup settings and then relaunch it and then tap one of the function keys to enter into safe mode. And then finally, you could also select system restore. So if you have any restore points saved, you can go ahead and go under that option, which I will do for today's tutorial here. So restore system files and settings. System Restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System Restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. Select Next. We do have a System Restore point here. Go with the most recently created one and then select Next. Select Finish. And then once started, System Restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? System Restore cannot be undone until after it has completed. If System Restore is being run in safe mode or from the System Recovery Options menu, it cannot be undone, which is what we're doing here. So go ahead and select Yes.
Okay, so you can see it says it has completed it successfully. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select restart. And then you can see it has been successfully restored. Go ahead and check for updates again, and then hopefully your prompt should have been resolved. So one further thing we can also try here would be to open up the star menu search, type in CMD, best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC followed by a space forward slash scanl. Scanl should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Exactly how you see it on my screen here, guys. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to go restart your computer. And hopefully I was able to resolve your problem, and you should be good to go. So pretty straightforward. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.